I love kids play because it's like a family and there's always a safe space here and it's just a loving environment. It's where I grew up and it's now where my children are going to be growing up and it's just a fun activity for us all. I saw a lot of kids come out of their shell. Seeing kids uh, light up when they find other like-minded kids that are their people. Kids play is just the best experience your kids will ever have. Kids Play is an all-volunteer nonprofit children's theater located in Greenfield, Indiana. We work with third through eighth graders doing two shows a year, one in the fall and one in the spring. In 1997, I saw a notice in the Greenfield Daily Reporter for an organizational meeting to start a theater group in Greenfield. I went to that meeting and I got actively involved. They did a couple of shows and then I asked for and was granted permission to start a, a children's theater branch for the Old National Road Players, which became known as the Old National Road Junior Players. In 2001, we parted ways and the Old National Road Junior Players became Kids Play Incorporated Children's Theater. I remember seeing an 11 by 14 flyer for a children's theater performance in the fall of 2001. I've been taking my fourth grade daughter to any youth theater organizations and youth theater performances that I came across. Children's Play, Chris Safer was the director. I found out that she had auditions coming up soon for the youth play final dress rehearsal. I took my daughter to the audition and I was thrilled to find out a few days later that she was offered a small speaking part in play. By the end of this production that spring, I had let Chris know that this was exactly the organization that I was looking for for my daughter. My daughter was in all nine performances from that spring through the time she finished eighth grade. I still attend kids play performances more than 20 years later. around for a while performing in churches and community buildings until we finally landed on the third floor of the old Masonic building in downtown Greenfield. We're in the Creative Arts and Events Center. Yes. And uh, this is the stairway. So kids play used to rehearse in here. So we had the third floor and we're sitting on the landing, we're sitting on the landing of the second floor right now. There's a little elevator right over here, and a lot of large props and walls do not fit in that elevator, so we would have to take them either down the stairs, or you look down here, you can kind of lower stuff down to the next floor. So we would lower, go on the other side, you could lower them down, bring them around, and then lower stuff down there, and then have somebody catch them. And we lowered them from up there. Up here, barely fit through that little crack. Yep. I see it. It was insane. I remember the first time we did it, I, I, I wouldn't watch. Whose no. idea was this? This had to have been your idea. Yeah. Welcome, foolish mortals, to Gravestone Manor.
Or, I graduated in eighth grade from Kids Play, and I have so many memories of my time in Kids Play, hanging out with my friends, going to rehearsals, and being on stage. It was so much fun. And when my son became of age to join Kids Play, I asked him if he would want to do it. He said yes. Uh, he is now going into his eighth grade year, and now I'm backstage. I work backstage. I um, help build the sets. I help set cue lines, make sure the kids have all their props. As a kid, you just saw it happen. You didn't see all the backstage work. And now as an adult, it makes me appreciate kids' play so much more. And I'm so happy that my family can be a part of it. And we will continue to be a part of it. Because my daughter will be starting kids' play soon, too. <laughs>
But he was really intense. Like he was, he was really, really strict, and you know, and he had to be because we were fighting with wooden swords, and he wanted us to get the the choreography right. You know, the stage combat down. You know, because he didn't want either of us getting hurt. And uh, but no, he was just very, very serious. I just remember how hard me and Savannah had to work on that, and how many hours we had to put into that and practicing it. And uh, I'll just never forget that night where. I think he got a little frustrated with me and, you know, I was tired. It, it was, it had been a long rehearsal and we'd already been doing that. And he, he kind of got into me. I called out for you and I was like, I can't do this. You were like, Jake, yes, you can. You were like, I would not ask you to do something that I knew you could not do. I know you can do this. And, you know, I'm so glad that you encouraged me to go and finish it because I found out, yes, I was able to do it. I was able to finish it. And me and Savannah put on a really cool sword fight uh, for eighth graders and even, you know, maybe even for adults. My name is Scott Hahn, and I have had the amazing fortune of having two plays that I've written uh, performed by Kids Play. The first was Storybook Reunion Murders in uh, November of 2011, and the second was Annie Play Will Do, which was uh, April of 2012. Um, I've been fortunate to see uh, quite a few productions of my plays over the years, uh, but there was something really special about the Kids Play performances, and there was just a sense of um, energy and um, camaraderie and so it kind of transcended kids theater what I think of as kids theater and one of my favorite theater memories honestly was after the shows I would uh, sit at a table on stage and uh, I would actually sign the students playbooks their programs but they would also sign mine and I still have both of those um, very treasured memories because they were some amazingly phenomenally talented and cool kids. As a writer, I'm my own worst critic and I always am very self-critical of every time I see one of my plays. It's not the fault of the performers, but I tend to find myself um, very critical of the material and the pacing and wishing I'd trimmed this or you know shortened this scene or cut this out. Um, and it's hard for me to really let go and enjoy them. But um, I was able to just enjoy with kids play. I didn't have that sense of being critical. I just had that sense of being part of something really cool and magical. That was such a treat, uh, a very rare treat to be able to um, be part of that in some small way. So many kids have gone through this program, many that I still keep in touch with. They come back and they see the kids play shows and I always ask the booth to bring up the house lights so I can see and wave to and recognize the kids play graduates. I love it that they come back and support the program. Okay, so it was my eighth grade year and I had been in kids play since third grade and I also happened to be the lead in this show called Over My Dead Body. Now, we were practicing and it was all coming together beautifully. And then we heard that there was two weeks off of school for COVID. And then it became a month. And then it became six months. And then it became a year. But theater was a big part of my life. And then theater was no longer a part of my life. At the time, it was hard. It was hard for all of us.
Bradford and I am the author of Sahara Nights, so I'm wearing my, my Kids Play Sahara Nights shirt. Over the years, Kids Play has done, I think, like seven or eight of my plays, including Sahara Nights. Kids Play has performed Sleeping Beauty and the Beast, which is mildly popular, but you guys have also performed some of my most obscure shows, plays that nobody, nobody else dares to perform. Nobody else is daring enough to perform plays like Tuesdays with Mummy, or a play called Thumbs Up about two rival film critics. I don't think anyone else has performed that except for you guys. So and all the cast and crew from all the years at Kids Play, thank you for being you. Putting together this video has been a real trip down memory lane. I've, I've had a lot of conversations with Kids Play parents, Kids Play graduates and adults, and so many anecdotes just didn't make the cut. But what has come through for me is how we just kept going. When one door closed, another one would open. Sometimes our coffers got way down and we had to scrape the bottom of the piggy bank to keep going, but we did. And we lost a year and a half to COVID, and yet here we have bounced back and we just keep going. So the question is, what is kids play? Simple answer, it is the, it's the best children's theater program in central Indiana. Only do comedies. It's uh, third through eighth grade, and it is a one of the best feeders for young actors going into high school. <laughs>